Hi, thanks for watching our little video. Um, my name is Mark from cncworksuk.net. If you'd like to have a little look at our website, today we're going to be looking at the MicroStep CCM3 CNC control unit. This control unit is an industrial control unit. It works off G-code and we can use it for flame or plasma. It's quite easy to use. It does come with a full manual. If you're used to using um, CNC controls, you won't find any problems with this one. And we've got lots of things that you can do. We're going to look at some basic functions, how to get a basic figure up, adjust that figure, and cut it with the plasma machine. We're not actually going to cut today with the plasma, um, but we will show you how the actual control unit works. If we look across the top here, it's all quite straightforward. We've got auto, manual, edits, the parameters, which are the parameters for the machine, cutting height, your limits, um, curve, everything you need to um, change really. We've got in there, uh, diagnostic, we've got the figure and the nest and help. And the figure and the nest are the important ones that we're gonna look at today. To start with, we're gonna choose a figure that's in the actual machine already. If we press on the figure, we'll see a list of parts, quite useful, common parts, that will come up. All these parts in here can be adjusted from this machine standalone. You don't need to edit on a computer at all. Um, if we have a look, we'll choose some basic parts to edit. Let's choose the L shape. So we have a basic L shape parts, we use all bracket or whatever. Part three on this machine. Once we've selected it, we press the F8 button, OK, and here it is. Now let's have a look at this screen and it tells us exactly what we need to know. So we've got the part name here. Uh, along this side, we have the entry and exit lengths. So we've got 10 centimetres, uh, sorry, 10 mil, 10 mil. Um, we've got size 1, size 2, size 3, size 4, and just at the bottom here, we have a small diagram telling us what these sizes relate to. So size one shows down this leading edge and that's exactly what size the leading edge is. It's 100 centimeters. So a meter in length, no it can't be, but it's 100 millimeters, sorry, uh, 10 centimeters in length. Uh, we can adjust that if we wish by using these arrows to go down to size one and we'll change that to 150 and then we shall submit and the size changes, sorry it's 150 then we press enter and then we submit and it automatically changes the shape and we can do this for any of the shapes and you'll see the sizes on this particular drawing have automatically changed as well. Once we put the parameters in so the shape is as you require it we then can either nest, uh, run or rotate. Now the whole function is um, very very useful depending if you want the actual part cut out and this is the part you're going to use or are you going to cut this part out and use the sheet as your main piece. And you'll see on the edge here we have the lead in on the outside which is assuming the part is what we need if we actually need to change that and we want the hole to be the waist then we'll press hole and you can see that automatically changes so now this is the lead in area for the plasma i'll just change that back not that it makes um, any different change it to part and there we go jumps in uh, we also have rotate, we have nest, we can edit and run. If we want to nest the part, then obviously if you're going to cut um, 20 or 30 of these out of one single sheet, then we'd use the nest function. We're just going to run that now. Uh, when it comes up to the automatic page, it gives you all the information you need to actually cut the part. You can't see a part on there at the minute, it's always nice to see and the machine will actually trace it round as it goes. So we'll go to the preview page and there's the part that we need. And here's the position of our plasma at the moment, marked by the crosshairs. Um, looking down the side here, 
then we have the different speeds and curve sizes that we can change, the pierce, the arc height, um, everything you need to adjust to set your plasma cutter, depending on what type um, of plasma cutter you use, all that information will be in your plasma cutter manual. Once we have this here, we've also got along the bottom, we've got the outline which is quite useful, so if you're not sure this piece is going to fit on your workplace, we can press outline and the machine will actually draw the outline needed and you can watch it move around, move around your piece of steel on the bench to make sure it's going to fit. If you're happy with that, then you can also do a simulation, so we've got D to simulate, so if I press the letter D and then go, the machine starts to move. You can hear it moving in the distance there in the background. I'll just stop it um, and explain what's going on. So it's cut in here and it's moving up the crosshair exactly where the machine is now. And this will move up, move up the length and cut round. And it traces it as we go. Now when you're cutting this for real and you actually press cut, this will turn red once it's traced over the area. So you know exactly where you are on the plan compared to where you are on the cut piece. And there's lots of other options on here that we can use. And if your machine fails for some reason, sometimes when you come to a corner, if you've got a, one of these, um, there's a lot of plasma tables around just made from folded steel on the legs. And when it comes to the uh, end of a line, as it turns direction, you get a very slight movement on the table. But it gives enough that the machine won't recognise the hole. The plasma cutter will lose the arc and it fails and it stops. That's why all the tables we use are really solid, but on this, on this program itself you can also return a little bit down the line and it will start the cut as well, so it can compensate for um, poor tables really. Um, so it's a really useful piece of kit. We'll cancel that and go back to the main page. Uh, we've also got auto and manual modes. If I go into manual mode, manual mode, it will show where the torch is at the minute and I can move the torch around the table and get a trace. So you can use a torch as a guillotine, cutting straight through the workpiece if needed. I'm just going to move this towards the rear of the um, workshop now, because I'm not going to be using the machine again today. We'll cancel all that and turn the machine off. Um, now you've seen the machine, I'll do a quick look at the plasma table and you can see the things that we have on offer. Try to move it nice and steadily. And there's our plasma table in position. You can see it's a big, heavy table. None of these um, sort of folded steel legs on there. This is a really good quality heavy table, so this will take huge work pieces. Um, good quality heavy duty motors and height control units on there. You also get extraction from this. We haven't fitted the plasma cutter to this machine yet. Um, we import all these direct all these tables and the CNC computers and but we don't import generally we don't import the Chinese plasma cutters we get very good quality either Sebora, Isab or Hypertherm plasma cutters and fit them to these tables so the cutters you're getting are absolutely top quality the machines you're getting are absolutely top quality and you're getting these machines for a real budget price as well so you're not playing the 28,000, 30,000 you would for this standard of table. We can actually do this quality table with these control units and a Sabora um, plasma cutter for around £10,000 and that includes delivery and setup. You won't find a better budget plasma table on the market. So if you are interested, please do give us a call. Uh, or you can email sales at cncworks.net. Thanks for watching.